How's it going, guys? I am Connor from Running Warehouse, and I'm back at it with Bob Fay. And Bob, today we are here in the Innovation Room in Eugene, Oregon. And today, we're talking about a new shoe. What do we have here? Yeah, so introducing the Super Blast, something we're super excited about at ASICS. We've had the team at ISS and our product team thinking about what happens if we cook up the magic of Nova Blast 3 and Metaspeed Plus together and pull it into this new kind of super trainer, super recovery shoe. Well, taking a little bit closer look at the shoe, the one thing you can't miss is this midsole. We got a lot of stack height underfoot. Tell us about the cushioning. Yeah, so super excited. Underfoot, you've got 45 and a half millimeters of a combo, top layer flight foam blast turbo for ultimate bounce, bottom layer blast plus for some cushioning, some protection and some durability. Trainer is really focused on giving you all that energetic bounce of Nova with some propulsion, but also that great shock attenuation you get from something like Metaspeed for those longer miles. Yeah, now Flight Foam Turbo is known for that really, really springy design. But when we saw it in shoes like the Sky and the Edge, it has a carbon plate in it. Do we have a carbon plate in this shoe? So not plated here. We've had a lot of athletes say they want a turbo solution without a plate so they can use it on recovery days. So sometimes when you're in carbon a little too much, it can play around with your form or just have you running faster than maybe you want to on a recovery day. So here you're getting all that bounce, you're getting some structure of the two foam layers, but with no plate in there. And when I think of a shoe that is this high of a stack height and has this much flight foam turbo, and again, no plate, I think, is it gonna be stable enough? How do you achieve the level of stability to be a, a solid you know, everyday trainer, recovery day shoe? Yeah, a couple different ways. The product and design team got really innovative about one, using the sidewalls, wrapping them up in this jagged fashion, giving you some structure around the heel and midfoot, and then really opening the platform underfoot, broadening out those base nets, giving you some great outsole rubber, and just making sure you're protected underfoot and inherently stable on, on the ride. And talking about that outsole design, I see some cutouts. Can you tell us a little bit about what went into this outsole and maybe also about the geometry in the shoe? Yeah, so just really focusing on having plenty of cushioning where you need it and engage that foam, and then cutting out pieces where you don't necessarily need it to reduce overall weight. So even at that max stack, you're coming in right at nine ounces on a men's size nine. So really, even though you're getting all this stable protection underfoot, you're not getting a lot of weight there. And I think a lot of people go back to the Nova Blast kind of year after year because of that really smooth ride, that really fun peppy ride. Did the geometry, was it like very, very similar to Nova Blast? Very, so you still got this four foot piston cut out to make sure you get some pop on the four foot. What we really did was took the geometry of Nova Blast and just kind of blew it out, put it on steroids and really made it super. And with no carbon plate in this shoe, is it gonna be a little bit more flexible or is it still a fairly stiff design? It's pretty stable with the two layers of, of foam glued together, but I think you'll get a little more flex and roll and forgiveness compared to what you'd see in a carbon. Now finishing this shoe off, we gotta talk about the upper. Can you tell us about what is kind of the components of it? Is it gonna be similar to Metaspeed? Is it gonna be similar to Nova or kind of in the middle? Yeah, you've got a little bit of features from both coming into this. So it's a jacquard woven material. It's super durable, super breathable. And then we also kind of added this gradient color across the top. So when you look down, you get this cool blurring effect that kind of focuses you in on your run, this idea of mindfulness. Our team really researches that and kind of pulls it all together in terms of upper design. Got a great neoprene tongue, got a little bit of padding, but really focused on uh, gusseting around the foot, giving you some structure there. And then pulled the lace over from the Metaspeed Plus series. So really making sure if you do want to go fast in this shoe, you've got a seat belt that keeps you locked in. Yeah, and here kind of in the innovation room, I know you've been giving secret looks of this shoe to a lot of athletes, a lot of people that have kind of been coming through. What have you heard from the athletes? Have people kind of wanted to steal a pair and uh, try it out for themselves? Yeah, so we've done a lot of testing across athletes and just our general runner groups, but we've kept them all blacked out so no one can really tell what's going on tech-wise. And they've all been raving about the experience. Now that they're seeing this thing 360 in full color and understanding what was underfoot, I'm handing them the right, they're asking for the left and trying to walk out the door with it. Now I know the elites are probably excited for this shoe, but I think this will be a shoe that can kind of fit into a lot of different runners lineup. Where do you see this shoe fitting? Kind of recovery shoe, tempo day shoe, maybe a little bit of both? Yeah, I think it can work both ways. I also think if you're a runner who's never tried the magic of super foam, maybe you're a little hesitant on the carbon plated stuff or how niche those racers are, this really opens up the opportunity for those uh, runners to get into something that's fresh, that's bouncy, and really understand the magic of the nylon base and blast turbo. 
Well, I'm excited for this shoe. You know, every time ASICS kind of comes out with this new innovative product, I got to get on my feet. I got to try it out. But for now, we got to wait for the final launch for people looking to get on their feet. When can they have it and how much is it coming in at? Yeah, Connor, it's 220. We've been dropping so much heat in 2022, we wanted to round the year out with a Super Blast. So 12 one, you're gonna see this. Perfect. If you're looking to get the Super Blast on your feet, try it out for yourself. You can find it here at Running Warehouse.